Hey everyone, I'm Mari Ray and welcome back to more of The Sims 3 For The Realm Challenge. I am sorry that this video is late. I did not have a chance to record this week. Um, so I am actually recording on the day. I normally release the episodes because I just didn't have time throughout the week to get it recorded and edited. So doing a Saturday recording this time. So apologize for that. But we are back here in the challenge. I have been having fun coming back to this. I told you guys that I, I just, I've been feeling it. I've been feeling it. I've been wanting to come back to this. So I was eager to get back into the game again because I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, and this episode, we should be having a birthday. I'm pretty sure Iona should be aging up this episode if my calculations are correct. If they are not, then I'm going to play until she does age up because that's my goal at the end of this episode is that we're going to get her aged up. I also, and I've been saying this every single episode, but I'm for reals. We need to make money. We, we need to make money. I don't, I don't know like what's changed about me not being able to make as much money or if I think it's just mostly my bills are astronomically much higher than what they used to be. So even when I make like 10 grand an episode, I end up spending like 11 to 12 or whatever grand because of the amount of bills that we pay. But I'm hoping we can end this episode with the surplus. We are starting with 192,000. Our goal is to try to be higher than that. Maybe in the 200,000 would be nice. I just feel like only making 10 though, we end up immediately spending that on bills and then it's like we're back where we started but we we need to pump some more money out we need to get some more money going so that we can have ourselves some more lots placed i really really want to do that but i like the challenge of having to struggle with money so i'm not, I'm not like that stressed about it but at the same time i i enjoy this i enjoy the struggle of trying to find the best way to do that but the household's waking up and they're also freaking starving because how else do you start the day except for pure chaos in this family so we are going to go ahead and get this going today um kage is already up he was feeding the baby who was already awake screaming his head off this morning because he was also hungry uh but it looks like griffin is now awake i i'm tempted to make you turn in your homework before you eat but it's 5 a.m and i'm pretty sure you have some time so come on downstairs and grab oh my god all the food that we have in here like we have so much food already prepared i'm just making kage cook most of the times because he honestly needs the skill to gain up so that's the only reason why he's doing the cooking but we're gonna try to make some money this episode and uh iona should be aging up Yes, so we're going to probably end the episode with a party. Um, I'm hoping we can make some decent amount of money this episode. Uh, the horses should be in a better mood today. We are out of mourning, which is great. And I am going to probably maybe have her go out riding, maybe go exploring and gathering and stuff like that. Should be kind of fun just to try to, uh, you know get some get our get our feet wet again in the world of exploring we also need to go and play around with some wild horses we need some more horses here in the family um so that's gotta happen too so there's stuff on my checklist it's just having the time to do it i've also per recommendation uh downloaded okay she's going to eat if she's awake she's awake yeah, there's plenty of food so please just like come downstairs and eat it are you eating or no you're licking a plate don't do that Iona. <laughs> come downstairs and eat uh just eat there's there's so much food down here like seriously you don't you don't have to think about it just come downstairs and get food all right but yes um so I, I forgot what I was even saying, but yeah, we have to get back to like where we were with this challenge and making the money that we need because it's going to be very, very important, but I'm going to get her out exploring. Um, and we need wild horses. That's that. I think that's where I was talking about right before my brain completely threw out any thoughts that were there previously. That happens to me way too often. You wouldn't imagine how much it, it li literally my brain is just like, nah. You don't need to know that. Just get rid of that information. Don't worry too much about that. I'm going to get the family going, though, for today. Get all the kids, making sure they turn in their studies, their homeworks, and get themselves together. And then um, I'll join back with you guys once I have a path of what we're going to be doing today. All right. Oh, my God. That was more painful than it should have been. I don't know why I was just having a time trying to get everybody doing what they were supposed to do. I also feel like... My phone has been ringing more often in this challenge than what it used to, so I think I might have gotten rid of a mod that was probably altering how often the phone rings and stuff. Um, at least probably. I don't know. But um, I'm going to have to look into that just because I feel like the phones have been ringing way more often. But I'm supposed to be making money. But there is a wild horse on my lot that is here um, and asleep, I think think so emmerich is looking at the horse because um he should be able to adopt a wild horse if he could get his um his um 
friendship up with it enough. So I got him like kind of queuing up this action. I know I'm supposed to be making money. This is this is what happens every episode. And this is why we make no money. It's because I get sidetracked doing something and um, we end up not making any progress in what we're supposed to be doing. Um, Kage really has to pee, but he was outside doing the, the um, garden. I think I'll have him go back to that. You, um, young one, young Mal, I want you to practice music because you're going to be my bard, okay? You're going to be my little bard. And when you get old enough, I'm going to have you go to the little bar and you're probably going to play for tips all the time because you can make us some money doing that, which would be really nice. Oh my God, did she just like, <laughs> she's like, listen to my son. He's so talented. <laughs> listen to him play, but you're, you're kind of hungry, so... Why don't you do what you were actually going to do and eat that? Uh, we are not fully done with our garden out here. And I have young Griffin riding over to one of her grandfather's favorite spots, which is over at the ruins, um, where we used to go with Mal all the time. And he used to dig stuff up and try to find some things. So I'm riding over there with her right now. She's a bit slower than I think uh, Mal used to ride, but you know. She's getting there, uh, but she's going to head over there to see if we can find anything juicy because we need some good money and um, maybe we can find some stuff by exploring, which is what we used to do all the time with Mal. And we used to be able to find some very lucrative items. So, you know, maybe if we're really lucky, we can get some good gemstones or something that we can sell for a nice boost. I do think I have a couple paintings and stuff to sell too. Like I said, I'm focused on money. I really want the cash money. This world is so pretty. We need to ride around more often, man. It's just that because every time a sim died, my horses would get so sad. We'd never get the opportunity to really go riding because I think they would like get angry and push the riders off. So it's sad, but oh, is she best friends with Jackrabbit now? So cute. I love it. I love it. One eternity later. 3,000. Not gonna lie, that's good. Let's paint some more. Um, We are still after the moolah. Actually, when you're done, by the way, Iona, I want you to come upstairs and paint too. We are all about the money making, okay? That's what we're after right now. Um, You have put in a lot of work today, Mr. Kage. I think we need to get you out the house soon and let you go and... um. Oh my god! The little blue gnome has started dating oh. Priscilla. Are you serious? Uh. That's amazing! We might get our blue gnome babies! We were so determined to have blue gnome babies and I was- I really wanted that to happen. We might get blue gnome babies and they might be related to us. We might have blue gnomes related to the family. That- that would be outstanding. I would absolutely love that to happen, okay? I would love that to happen 110%. I also have gotten uh, per recommendation, and I don't know if I mentioned this already because I've forgotten what I've already said, but per recommendation, I have gotten the dresser mod to hopefully try to fix some of the outfits as people, I have no idea how to use it yet though, but it is in the game. As of right now, it's sort of like, I'm just trying to see if it's gonna do anything stupid to my game. Uh, and, but I don't think it will. I think I just need to understand how it works. So I will probably have to go back and play around with the settings of that one. Hopefully that'll help with uh, some weird outfits uh, generating or spawning with the Sims uh, as they age and grow. Um, and change because that's a problem that I have right now, as well as with random people showing up and having just, you know, weird outfits in general. So hopefully that will be corrected by that. Oh, there's, he's mourning a ghost. Is ghost is ghost here? Ghost is ghost. Is she's the ghostess with the mostest. Is her ghost? <gasps> no, are you serious? No, what? Oh my God. It didn't. I, huh? I didn't get any notifications. There was no sound. Are you serious? Are you serious? Even the Grim Reaper doesn't even understand what's going on. He's just stuck because he doesn't even know what just happened. The Grim Reaper didn't even know what was going on because I didn't know what was going on. What the frick? Are you serious? I just got through talking about... How we were out of mourning. Are you serious? Are you serious? I. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh my god. <laughs> this is pure pain. Okay, uh, I have no idea why the game did not notify me that my horse was dying. Fireball. Why why were I, why was I not told that this was happening? I don't know, but the game decided I didn't need to know that information and it was just going to like quietly just walk away with my horse without telling me what was going on. So that's a bit disappointing. I just got out of mourning and we just lost Ghost and now we just lost Fireball. So that's great. Um, and I mean that with all the sarcasm in the world. <laughs> because this happened before. I think Ghost died on Griffin's birthday. And then now Iona's birthday will should be tomorrow. And we freaking lost Fireball. Because of course we did. Of course we did. One thing that is a bit different. And I don't know if I ever talked about this or explained this. But I did give some of the family the um, stone-hearted trait. Which basically means that they don't particularly get affected too much by deaths and stuff and that's just because they go into mourning for such a long period of time it it becomes a bit uh, annoying almost to deal with so i set up a rule of thumb and i don't know if i ever explained this but in my brain i had worked this out where after they have experienced so many deaths in their lifetime i will allow them to have the stone-hearted trait uh, but they have to experience i think i said like two or three deaths in their lifetime before i will give them that trait so like uh, emmerich has it because you know he was around when his father died and his mother died and you know he lost several horses at this point so he's gone through several deaths in his time so i would imagine he's learned to cope better uh with it i mean of course it still hurts he's still gonna cry still gonna mourn but i just i kind of hate it the fact that everybody would wake up wailing and screaming and crying all day long it was getting a bit annoying so i just to do that that's what i did so basically younger sims will be affected more by deaths than the uh, older sims who are more experienced and have maybe you know experienced more death in their lifetime was sort of my line of thinking in that type of terminology so he has it i believe that evie has it um he doesn't so he's going to be mourning he's new here he he also is just probably very spastic in the sense that he's doesn't even understand what's going on with himself right now so kage's fine uh she has it because she was also around for her grandparents death as well as several horses and so does griffin uh he does not so little mal is still relatively young so he's still very affected by the deaths of pets and family um so that's sort of my line of thinking with that i don't think i ever explained that when i did and i did that a while ago i just don't think I remember to explain it until right now. But that's why if you notice some of the family is not in mourning, that is why. It's because they have the stone-hearted trait at this point in order to um, not really have the crying constantly. Um, the horses are the ones where that becomes a big issue for the most part because getting anywhere on the horses when they're in a bad mood becomes a problem. So uh, I, hopefully Griffin can make it back okay because she's all the way across the map right now and she will need Jackrabbit to get home, which this just emphasizes even more that we need more horses. So that wild horse, where do you stand with it, uh, Emmerich? Because we, we need horses in our family. Um, the wild horse. Does she got ears? What in the holy moly? Okay, I think the dresser mod might have made some interesting choices uh, for some um, stuff going on. I'm gonna have to uh, fix some outfits, it seems like. Because, uh, oh yeah, even he has an odd thing going on. I didn't even notice that before. So yeah, there's some weird choices that the dresser mod decided to make for some people. Why? Don't know. Couldn't tell you. Have no idea. Where's this wild horse? This is the wild horse, I think. And honestly, his relationship is about the same with Jackrabbit as it is with this wild horse. But I don't think it's on my lot anymore. So we will have to locate that wild horse. Oh, wait. Yes, it is. Um, Can we attempt to adopt you? Hey, horse. Shh. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't be that way. Okay, 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 okay. Fine. We'll back off. We'll just watch from a distance again. Oh no, it's is it leaving? Get back here. <laughs> I love how he's like chasing it. <laughs> Where you going, horse? Oh man, I think we did scare it away this time. That's sad. 
Okay, well, we scared the horse away. <laughs> so, uh, my fault. I guess I shouldn't have tried to give it produce. It, it's, oh wait, it didn't go that far though. Let's, is it leaving? Okay, it's leaving. We'll leave, we'll leave the horse alone for now. But I'm determined now to try to get that horse. Um, that's a new, somebody else's horse that they've adopted. But that's very sad. We freaking lost Fireball, which means we're down to one horse in the family. Um, so I need to move his, um, gravestone. And also, are you eat? Okay, she's eating the carrot. Okay, well, that's a thing. Let's pick up whatever's left over here. We'll get this stuff smelted up tomorrow as we wait for your sister's party because we won't be going out tomorrow because of, oh my God, he's just on the ground. Oh, we missed some stuff over here. You know what? We don't have time tonight. You got to get home. So let's get her back home. Can we give him, let's give him a carrot and then see if he'll let us get home the next morning Alrighty, everyone good morning i got the family up and got them working today and it sounds like that uh they are in their woohooing so that's good i suppose um that's fine i'll allow it it's 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 not as frequent as it used to be he earned eleven thousand from royalties that's what i'm talking about m but um it's not as frequent as it used to be so um yeah the change that i made to the woohoo mechanics is a lot more manageable actually because before it was like a constant they wanted to go woohoo all the time it was a little hard to deal with because i'm trying to not have a, a thousand kids but uh, that's what would happen if they continued to woohoo constantly but um yes the family is up this morning and it's already 12 p.m so i'm sorry for the late introduction or the late start but really i was just trying to get everybody going for the day um and I think we're there. But what we need to do is plan a party for young Iona. And the game did not tell me she's aging up today because apparently it doesn't like to tell me anything anymore. Just like it didn't tell me that Fireball was like, you know, crossing over to the other side. It was just like, nah, she'll figure it out. And I mean, that it, it I did, but not the way I wanted to game. Not the way I wanted to. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure she would be aging up today at like six or whenever the time ticks for this to go over to one to zero. So though it didn't tell me, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Now I'm honestly not too sure um, if if she would age up on the zero day or on the one day, but we're throwing our birthday party today regardless. She's basically there at this point. Um, so I wanna throw her a birthday party. So M, be a doll, all right, let's, um throw a party because we need to have ourselves a birthday party for your baby she is turning into a young young lady Alrighty, um you should take a bath and stuff and get all dolled up sweetie because we are going to oh i didn't turn off the party filter thing so that's nice all right i'll do that i got some weirdness going on here with uh some of the people i don't know what's happening with that but we're going to invite the teenagers most certainly because um she's technically a teenager but she's turning into a young adult so i'm going to invite her i feel like she would be someone who she'd want to be her friend oh my god we're going to have a house full of people because i want to invite the marins too <laughs> um maybe i won't invite the whole marin crew they have a lot of kids logan you're coming maddie she's coming um Oh my god, look how many of them. Look how many kids you guys have. You guys have so many children. Okay, uh, who else can I invite? Uh, you gotta invite your brother. I mean, your uncle. You guys, I need to have several parties. For no real reason whatsoever other than to have parties. You know what? Let's drop some of the random people that we're not too fond of. And let's just, let's do more family. Like, I would, I want Justine to come. I want her husband to come. These are technically your aunt and uncle who are like, uh, you know, you haven't seen in forever. So they should probably come. Uh, Amos should come. Oh my God. Our family's so huge. Okay. It, it becomes a problem when we have so many families. You know, who needs a makeover? I'm going to invite some of them. You need one. Oh my God. Logan, you have so many kids, Logan. Okay. Desmond and Nathaniel are good. They're good. They, they I'm going to leave them off the list just because they don't need a makeover. And my list is getting long here. And I'm going to invite the ones who I think do need a makeover at this point that are part of the family. These two are good. Okay. Okay. 
I'm going to leave the list at this. It's basically family. Uh, a lot of the Marins and um, their brother or their uncle, uh, Jeremy, and uh, their, their aunt Justine and uh, their aunt and uncle on their mother's sides uh, from the Willets. So I'm going to invite all of them and... I'm going to have some makeovers to give. I'm going to have some makeovers to give. Let's make it at like 4 p.m. And we'll do casual. And this is going to be a birthday party. Um, I would like to invite more people, but I feel like I can't. What? Didn't I do that already? Casual, please. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. The party will be at 4 p.m. Okay. So we're throwing this birthday party. <laughs> and holy moly, I'm going to have a house full of people. And several of which are going to need makeovers. So I'm going to try to knock some of those out the way using this party here. Well done. Griffin made a normal quality item worth a hundred smalls. Okay, cool. It's not worth a lot of money. So, um, hello everyone. I just had Griff, uh, making some, um, making a glass dragon egg. Cause I wanted to see, um, like how much it'd be worth. It's not worth a lot. So maybe I'll let them do that occasionally and maybe sell it and stuff because a hundred, a hundred is nothing. Trust me. It's nothing. Okay. It made 11,000 in book, uh, stuff. So that's no big deal in terms of that. And it's just a craft that they can pick up. So I don't think it's something I need to be too concerned about them making like cheaty amounts of money from so that's good looks like our guests are here yay the first guests have arrived it is the willette brothers and sisters evie your brothers and sisters are here you haven't seen them in forever um who are oh you are you are justine's mother-in-law question mark i i don't remember if was that her son or no? I think she's just a, I think she was just like the head knight of the household. In truth, I don't remember. Like, can I tell by looking at him? No, no, that is his mother. Okay, yeah, that is her her mother-in-law. Her So how, how come she's here, but where's Justine? No, we are not going on a date with you. Please stop asking. I didn't even invite you, but I guess welcome. Don't drink the milk. Don't, don't drink the milk, sweetie. That's not... <laughs> I want to hold on to the milk because we need it to make cheese. So let me just put this in. Uh, sorry, super distracted. I just need to put this milk away. Did you did it disappear? Did it disappear? Okay, well, note to self, milk disappears. If your sim is going to drink it and you tell them not to, the game just evaporates it into nothing. So that's good to know. I'll uh, have to remember that next time I am planning to evaporate some milk i suppose but alrighty. so our guests are here and um we didn't like cook anything special normally they bring food but maybe i should have you know what we should have something in here that we can take out that we have so many dishes let's just like put this out there we go now we got some food out which he's actually kind of hungry so i'm gonna have him go grab a plate um but in the meantime, as we wait for more guests to arrive, hopefully more show up besides just the Willettes and um, Justine's mom-in-law, which is odd. Uh, but why don't you greet your brother and sister? You haven't seen Priscilla and Brandy in like forever. So let's go say hello to, oh Jesus, don't convince him to try for a baby or ask him to move in. Ask him about his day. How is it going? Um, M, please off the computer. It's time for you to greet your guests. Come and say hello. Yeah. Here are some more of our guests. It looks like your uh, aunt and uncle. There is Logan. Logan, how are you, Logan? Where are your children? Your whole entire like horde of children that you have. You have a lot of kids, Logan. Okay, you have so many. Um, but um, why don't you come greet your uncle, Logan? It's so good to see him. Uh, and why don't you come greet Amos? He is your birthday twin. I do believe her Amos and Griffin are either a day apart or were born on the same day. I can't remember anymore, but I do know that they were like really close in age. Either way it goes. So let's just come and say hello, howdy doody to Amos here. You've, have you never met your uncle Logan? Okay, you kind of know him, but not that much. Are you flirting with your uncle Logan? That's kind of weird. I mean, technically, you guys aren't blood related, but it's still really weird, Iona. Don't do that, okay? <laughs> Don't flirt with your uncle. It's kind of weird. 
<laughs> oh, it's so messed up. Uh, let's just chat though. Let's get to know him and say, what's up, Uncle Logan? How are you? How have you been? How how is being a werewolf? How has um how has that been treating you? How's your life been? How is your pack of children, your raving, insane group of children? You have two super evil adult sons, and um, I don't even know what your other kids are like. And I don't think that they have made it, so they may not be able to make it today, but I did invite some of them. But the house is getting pretty full, and I think I need to do the birthday cake before it gets too late and too crowded, because what ends up happening is that nobody can route anywhere, and then we start having some issues. But, um, why don't you chat it up with him a little bit? Everybody's dancing and having fun, which is what we want to see. We love to see it. Um, he is... Enjoying Jeremy playing the guitar. So pleasant. Look at these two, they're so cute. Is the wild horse back? It's back and it wants to nuzzle you. Oh wait, hold on. I'm getting distracted again. This whole episode has just been distraction after distraction. It's like so spastic. But if the horse wants to, the horse wants to talk to him, because I, I want to adopt this horse. Oh look, Maddie's here. Madeline. Are you here, love? Here comes some more people. Oh my god, our house is so full. It's so many people here. It's kind of wild. Look, it's Tristan. Hey, Tristan. And Justine. They all made it. Tristan, are you getting fluffy? Are you getting kind of chunky? Look at him. He's so cute. He's so adorable. I want you and Justine to try to have kids again, so I have stuff I have to do this epi this party, so I can't wait on this wild horse wherever it is. I honestly don't even know where the horse is, but it wants to try to nuzzle uh, Emmerich, and I'm game for that, but I don't know where the horse is and how far away it is. But it looks like some more people are showing up, so I'll give it a couple more minutes, but I think that it's going to be time to go blow out the candles here real soon. The game has made some choices. Um... As you can see, it's made some choices and it's made them wrong, okay? Um, it definitely made them wrong. So that's the dresser mod at work, obviously having some uh, identity crises about how it wants to respond to Sims in this world. Uh, we will address that in just a moment. But for now, everybody's cheering, everybody's happy. It is time for a birthday party. Iona's aging up. Uh, Yona's aging up. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, there. Oh my god, look at how many Sims are here. This is insanity. I don't think I've ever had a party this big. It's like, it's huge. Oh my god, look how many people are here. And more are showing up. Oh my god, there are so many people here. There are so many people here. If my game doesn't implode upon itself, like my eardrums will because it's hard to hear over all of the screaming and screeching right now. Yay! Um, so Iona is finally aging to a young adult, but because of the fact that she had a C, which I expected, we weren't allowed to choose her traits, so she's developed Love the Heat. Okay. I think her grandfather had that trait, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my god, she just made Glail a nemesis. Okay, well that's nice. Um, and now we have to pick her lifetime reward because we didn't do that before. So perfect student is not something we can do. We're not gonna own a resort. A uh, master mixologist, I mean, she technically owns a bar already, I think, but I don't think we're gonna do that either. Grand explorer, we can't do. Zoologist, we also can't do. So let's just find one in here that... Um, would work for this environment. She knows how to paint. What's a descendant of Da Vinci? That's inventing. So maybe we'll skip that one. Um, let's get her one that might push her to do a career once she's like out of the house. That would make sense. Maybe illustrious author. Her dad's into writing. Her mom's into painting. So maybe she'll try to take some stuff from both of those and do that. We'll we'll choose that one. <laughs> All right, nice. Oh my god, my house just completely said, okay, now I'm just gonna reset everything. But what I'm about to do is stop here, uh, save, and uh, give some makeovers. Hold on, I think I need to let the game do a little bit more because it might still think there's a birthday happening. All right, 
I think it is. All right, so there we go. I think we should be good. So I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna give some makeovers and I will be right back, you guys. Give me one sec. Okay, everyone, sorry, I am back. I, that was a bit of a time, all right? I was trying to see if I could figure out how the dresser mod works. I couldn't figure that out, not to mention in the process of giving makeovers, my game crashed twice. And then the game proceeded to reset a bunch of people. I think I invited way too many people at one time, which I knew going into this party, there was just too many people. Um, but I want to try to give some makeovers. I did manage to get some makeovers. I think I forgot a couple makeovers, but my game was already crashing and I was kind of sick of doing it. And I have already spent well over the amount of time I'm supposed to, to record this because of the makeovers on top of the crashes. So you know, I'm just going to keep going from where we are right now to finish up the party here. I did manage to get quite a few makeovers. Uh, Iona is over here uh, looking gorge, of course, because, you know, she's a young adult. She's a beautiful young woman now um, eating her birthday cake. Uh, this is her. They're one of their cousins who's actually a werewolf. It's one of uh, Logan's daughters, um, Elise. Uh, so she I gave her a makeover. I got uh, Logan's younger daughters, Catherine and I think her sister might have got reset. It reset a bunch of people because they were all trying to get cake at the same time. Of course they were. And it got a little, you know, congested. And then the game, I don't think, knew what to do. So it just kind of reset a bunch of folks. Um, so quite a few people have disappeared. That's why. I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm not going to try to redo this or anything because it's going to do the same thing because it's always like a cluster crap trying to get the cake uh, around there. So we're just going to keep going with the party so we can end it up here. But I did get some makeovers done. I think I did miss a person or two, uh, but it's fine. We'll get them going as we can. And I'll hopefully learn to work the dresser mod so that we can um, be able to... Uh, so that we'll be able to use those next time. And I can just kind of copy some generic outfits across people as they age because it takes a minute to give everybody full on makeovers but the family i like to try to give them touch-ups you know just make them look decent at least uh when i give them makeovers and stuff so you know but general people around yeah we could just copy and paste some some general outfits for but um the party is probably winding down at least a little bit at least i think jeremy you know her i forgot my game has probably been like reset to all heck and back for what's going on. So never mind. You know what? Maybe you feel like you've never met her before, even though you totally have. So just forget it. But um, basically, though, uh, the party's going to be winding down here. There's one thing I want to do. Uh, M, okay, you're eating. Are you eating? What the frick are you doing over here, Emmerich? I saw that. You guys saw him, right? He was doing some type of, like, ritual, I think. Like a summoning ritual. I think he was trying to do something. He was spawning food. I don't know what was going on with that. <laughs> Emmerich. Emmerich has an issue with his arm, but maybe that'll get fixed next episode. Hopefully it'll get fixed next episode because I don't know what's going on with that. Um, but we've had a good party. I'm assuming it was a good party. I don't even know if this still counts as a party anymore because, you know, it. I, it, I just don't. Uh, but I think, though, that this was a successful birthday. Uh, we have to figure out uh, with Iona. Where, where do we plan to go with Iona from here? Like I said, oh, my God, everybody's in the baby's room. But um, as I mentioned, like, you know, she, as of right now, has no romance uh, partners or anything like that, which I'm fine with. But I think that, you know, we just need to get her established and maybe even get her possibly moved out. She could move in temporarily with her brother and then we can just let the game decide what it wants to do with her. As in, like, let, um, as in, uh, let the game's, uh, progression do whatever it wants and decide if it wants, you know, who it wants her to marry, who she wants to date. Since we haven't really done it, but I think we need to get more people ultimately in the town because they're just aren't that many prospects around hence why i needed more money so now that we're up to 226,000, i think next episode what i'm gonna do is see uh what i might be able to buy like maybe how many households i might be able to purchase but i want to play some like higher standing households down but they're not cheap you guys i mean we're, we're getting to the point where some of the people we want to move in are like you know big uh bigger households or not bigger households but maybe more uh, richier pe 
people and stuff like that. So I got to have the cash to do that and also be able to support my family. I'm trying to see where I stand with this horse. Sorry for the rambling. Where is it? Here. It is. Oh my God. See, we're friends. So will this horse let me give it something? Because he's like, he's friends with it. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Wait, is it awake? It just woke up, right? Okay. It woke up. Good. Wake up horse. Why can't I do anything with it? Okay, I think that worked. I think it worked better, at least. So I, I reset Emmerich. I don't know what the frick was going on with him. He was tweaking out. But this flipping horse is close to being able to be allowed into our family, I think. I mean, him and Emmerich are friends now. I just... I don't know what it takes to get a wild horse in the family, but I'm going to end this episode here. I've also re-glitched out my house because I reset Emmerich, so it's about that time anyway. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a like or don't. That's up to you, but I do hope that you'll come back and join me for more of The Sims 3 For The Realm Challenge here on the channel. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.